You've had an awesome year so far at RPM. You've driven the Kittle Buggy, ridden a Superbike, Cam McConville's been for a blast in a Formula 3 car, and I've been lucky enough to do some laps in a V8. Now someone's come up with a crazy idea to find out if we can cut it as Hilux Heroes. Good. Good. <laughs> you think if there's two wheels involved, it might be okay, but I think this one might take the cake also. But with Lawrence Ryan, who is one of the V6 Hilux heroes, for people that haven't seen them, what do you guys get up to? Uh, we're actually a driving team that uh, put on uh, driving displays at agricultural shows, everyone from uh, Sydney Royal East uh, down to the small little country show. But we've brought in the best drivers that we can find to uh, put on a show that is so tight and close that uh, the action is fast and furious all the way through. You've got a wonderful you know, experience or history that you, you bring to this, both Australian records and Guinness Book of Records. Tell us about that. Uh, the Guinness World Records I actually hold are for driving a car on two wheels, which is uh, Part of the uh, performance uh, in the show where we take one of these uh, unbreakable Hiluxes and try and make a full lap around the arena and uh, I can assure you it's quite difficult to do. If you're a regular viewer of RPM or 10 Motorsport you'll know the name Jack Monkhouse from drifting as well. The car looks pretty standard to us Jack. Yeah, it's unlike your drift car or your, your alley car, this is a very standard Toyota V6 Hilux. Just got an exhaust system but um, yeah, standard engine. We've got some Bilstein shock absorbers in the front and the back just to control the bumps a bit nicer. Standard Bridgestone tyres. So, so no, no chassis welding or anything like no, that? No, nothing. It's a standard chassis and they're oh. holding up really well. well. That's the specs check. Now we've got to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> you boys can talk the talk, can you walk the walk? <laughs> no heroes here, mate. Just pretenders. He gets in that position all the time. Last time he did a car shoot, he was Lawrence, from your background, you guys know a, a heap of different driving techniques. Today you're going to show us just a couple of them. That'll be hard enough for us to get our heads around. What are they? Well, the, the basic two manoeuvres you really need to know to become part of the Toyota V6 Hilux Heroes is really driving at Hilux on two wheels and performing handbrake turns. So they, if you can't master them, there's really not a spot for you on the team. <laughs> You want to go and show us how it's done? I think that's what we might do. I'll get in the car and head down in one of our unbreakable Hiluxes and just show you how easy it can be done. He's crabbing along there. That's got to be about 150 metres there, conservatively. And he makes it look so easy. Oh, he's doing a Yui. <laughs> how on earth did you do that? Lots and lots of practice. But when you actually leave the ramp, left and right becomes up and down so it's actually very hard to work out where you are in relation to what the car's doing. Once you learn they say it's like riding a bike but I think it's what time for one of you two to have a go. It's you. Rock, scissors, paper. Okay. It's you. <laughs> now the wheel rig on the side is only designed as an aid to stop the car from tipping right on to its roof. If you actually lose it and go over onto the wheel, you've Which got a fair chance of happening. It can be, it, more than likely. We need you to stop the car. Don't drive onto the wheel because it will actually try and flex it into the vehicle itself. Hold it at 20, hold it at 20. Back yourself and it will go on the side. Say that again to the camera. Oh, my God. <laughs> back yourself, back yourself, and back yourself, and back yourself. Ah. That is the weirdest sensation because it goes against everything you're programmed to do. As soon as I get up on two wheels, I think natural instinct is don't do this, don't. So you go exactly the opposite way to what you should do. And I've gutted now because I actually wanted to bloody do the thing. That's your turn to laugh now. Yeah, good. <laughs> Nice, <laughs> He's got this unbelievable knack. Anything he touches mechanical, he gets it right every time. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I'm gutted because I know he's going to do it again here. That is fantastic! That was nice, mate! 
Right. Nice if I didn't stay here. <laughs> nice if I kept going down that road. Watch your head. is above close to getting the concept of what the car wants to do and how it wants to roll over in itself and don't you know don't be disappointed the, you know we've had the best in the car we've had everyone from you know Simon Evans to uh, to Neil Bates in the car and uh, I can assure you they they doing just as well as you were all right jack what's part 2 well, as, as you saw, you sort of struggled a little bit with two-wheel driving, but statement. <laughs> not being too harsh here, but it's a pretty hard thing to master, I'm sure. Um, so we're going to do a, a bit of our main routine here, which is 180 handbrake turns, and then turn that into a reverse flick. So you're doing a, a 360, which is spaced over a bit of distance. Give us some detail. How, how do you do it? Just head along nice and in cruising second gear, a bit of handbrake and right hand down. As the car spins, you select reverse gear. Get a fair bit of speed up in reverse gear and then crank some left or right hand lock into it and as the car's spinning just straighten the wheels up and, and you keep rolling as a, in a 360. Who's up? <laughs> They're king, that's for sure. Just pin it, mate. Absolutely pin it. Stand on it. Jack was just saying, your Hilux hero, I'm zero, mate. Beautiful. <laughs> Jack, Lawrence, thanks for an awesome day. Looks like you got your newest inductee ready to go over Thank there. Thank you, guys. The right, fail is over here, but that's all <laughs> all right. And for those of you watching at home, we certainly recommend that you get out to see the V6 Hilux Heroes at a show near you. Here are the upcoming dates for any of you who want to catch the Toyota V6 Hilux Heroes in action. They've certainly got a busy schedule with opportunities for fans there in New South Wales, South Australia, WA and Victoria. Some seriously impressive precision driving, but a reminder... Don't try that at home, kids. We did it in the safe confines of the Oran Park skid pan. Can you believe how hard that is, let alone to get it together in a sequence situation like they do for their shows? Well, there's no precision from us, was there? <laughs> but, it, yeah, it is amazing because at the show, all that ground is undulating. It's very difficult. They've got a lot more variables. But there, it was beautiful concrete for us and we still struggled. Hardly surprising. We're a motorsport show, obviously, that a lot of their guys have a motorsport background, mm. largely rallying too. Yeah, we kind of had a bit of a joke with them. It was a retirement place for rally drivers, <laughs> which it's not, but uh, it was great fun. It's always good to go into someone else's world and experience something different. Yeah, very different domain indeed. Thanks, Des. We'll see you a little bit later in the show for a full MotoGP preview. Up next, all the latest news and the variety B2B bash. <laughs> This unbelievable knack. Anything he touches mechanical, he gets it right every time. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I'm gutted because I know he's going to do it again here. <laughs> that is fantastic. That was nice, mate. Right? Nice if I didn't stay here. <laughs> nice if I kept going down that road. Is above close to getting the concept of what the car wants to do and how it wants to roll over in itself. And don't you know? Don't be disappointed. The, you know, we've had the best in the car. We've had everyone from you know Simon Evans to uh, to Neil Bates in the car. And uh, I can assure you, they they doing just as well as you were. All right, Jack. What's part two? Well, as, as you saw, you sort of struggled a little bit with two-wheel driving, but statement. not being too harsh here, but it's a pretty hard thing to master, I'm sure. Um, so we're going to do a, a bit of our main routine here, which is 180 handbrake turns, and then turn that into a reverse flick. So you're doing a, a 360, which is spaced over a bit of distance. Give us some detail. How, how do you do it? 
just head along nice and with cruising second gear. A bit of handbrake and right hand down as the car spins, you select reverse gear. Get a fair bit of speed off in reverse gear and then crank some left or right hand lock into it and as the car's spinning just straighten the wheels up and, and you keep rolling as a, in a 360. Who's up? <laughs> They're king, that's for sure. Just pin it, mate. Absolutely pin it. Stand on it. Jack was just saying, your Hilux hero, I'm zero, mate. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, Lawrence, thanks for an awesome day. Looks like you got your newest inductee ready to go over Thank there. Thank you, guys. The Sorry fail is over here, but that's all <laughs> all right. And for those of you watching at home, we certainly recommend that you get out to see the V6 Hilux Heroes that are shown you. Here are the upcoming dates for any of you who want to catch the Toyota V6 Hilux Heroes in action. They've certainly got a busy schedule with opportunities for fans there in New South Wales, South Australia, WA and Victoria. Some seriously impressive precision driving, but a reminder... Don't try that at home, kids. We did it in the safe confines of the Oran Park skid pan. Can you believe how hard that is, let alone to get it together in a sequence situation like they do for their shows? Well, there's no precision from us, was there? <laughs> but, it, yeah, it is amazing because at the show, all that ground is undulating. It's very difficult. They've got a lot more variables. But there, it was beautiful concrete for us. and. We still struggled. Hardly surprising. We're a motorsport show, obviously, that a lot of their guys have a motorsport background, mm. largely rallying too. Yeah, we kind of had a bit of a joke with them. It was a retirement place for rally drivers, <laughs> which it's not. But uh, it was great fun. It's always good to go into someone else's world and experience something different. Yeah, very different domain indeed. Thanks, Des. We'll see you a little bit later in the show for a full MotoGP preview. Up next, all the latest news and the variety B2B bash.